I'm just really happy to get out with a win. We knew they'd come out firing, which they did. And we needed some big saves early to keep us in the game. But after that, I thought we we started to get our get our stride, and and that's a big win for us. Nice to play with. Nice to see a lot of Penn Staters here, which is always fantastic, and to play in this wonderful arena. So, good night. Questions for the student athletes first. James, you know your goal. It's it starts going to the net and and just creating havoc. When, you know, is he the kind of player that when you see him with the puck on the net, you just kind of know something good's gonna happen and I I gotta get over there. Yeah, yeah. Playing with him last year, you know, like he he's gonna cut it. He's gonna try and try and stuff it. He's not gonna try and pull up. He's he's taking it to the net, so I kind of knew that. Um, so I just followed up. And I think the goalie poke checked. I was right there. So it was it was nice. It was nice for him to do all the work and he get the reward. So thanks, sister. For both of you guys, first time playing RMU, uh, did it feel like a rivalry game out there at points? Um, I'd say yeah, maybe for Pennsylvania. I mean, you want to be the team, the team of Pennsylvania, I guess. So I mean, every game for us, we go in and just want to play that to not get win. So I don't really think that any games are a rivalry game. We just want to go out there, and, you know, worry about us and play our game. But it's you know, it's nice to be the, the team of Pennsylvania as well. Yeah, they're I mean, they're a hard nosed team. There's no there's no denying that. So anytime you play a team like that, you gotta put your work boots on. So. Uh, it was a nice one. Nice, nice win to start it off slow, but got our feet and it's good to come out with one. Got questions for the student athletes? Yeah, do you, um, for you, do you feel like you guys have uh, regained some of that Penn State identity that maybe uh, was missing a little bit at the start of the season? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's fun when we're playing a game. It's fun to be out there with uh, all these guys work so hard. We had a, maybe a slow start, but we weren't getting all the bounces. But I mean, these last uh, few weeks have been awesome. I mean, a lot, it's a lot of fun coming to the arena. Anything else for the student athletes? Thank you, boys. You can take off. Thank you, Scott. Yeah. Open up to questions for head coach Gagadowski. Hi. Um, it seems like the game kind of changed with those short handed chances. And I feel like if you blindfolded me, I'd be able to say, oh, it was Sturts. Can you speak about the impact that has on a team that there's a guy who can just always do that? On our team? Yes. I mean, on our team, it's very it's uh, very uplifting. And, and you're right, it's happened a lot uh, this year and last year on the penalty kill. But he's the type of player that he um, his numbers are great, but he's so much more than that because he just he gets you going. He's the kind of guy that when things aren't quite going your way, in one shift, he can turn everybody to, to start playing hard and, and to be enthused, and that's what he does. So you're right. I mean, we feel the same. If you're right. You can close your eyes and, and imagine who it would be. He's just he's a fantastic character that way. You mentioned some attributes of uh, playing down here, playing Robert Morris at the start, but uh, could you elaborate on why it was important for your program to get this series going again uh, and, and play this home and home this weekend? Well, first of all, I, I – I have great respect for what Robert Morris hockey program has done and being at Penn State there's a lot of people that obviously Mr. Pagula is everything to us and what his gift was a catalyst was obviously everything to us but it's also a catalyst let's say for Arizona State but before that I think Robert Morris jumped in and did an unbelievable job and an unbelievable job and they've got a tremendous program they've had a lot of success and I think that it's important that universities know that you don't need necessarily need a Terry Pagula to be successful in Division One hockey. I mean, it's great. It's obviously it's tremendous and it's everything for us, but I look at what Robert Morris did as a huge success story and a great hockey program and one that I hope other universities follow. And then I think Peyton said it really well. We're, we're two, we both have a lot of pride in our programs and we're from Pennsylvania and we're not far apart and, and you want bragging rights and that, that's why this is important. 
Hey, Lee from Ed Sabrews of Penn State Hockey. You've seen graduating classes come through now and working on another one. I'm sorry, I didn't hear the first sir. We've been playing hockey for you know, some years at, at Penn State. Now we've gone through one graduating class, we've got another one coming through. And we've played this rivalry for a while now. It's starting to develop and see. What would you say is the identity of it going forward? I mean, this is our seventh or eighth game, I believe, we've been to. Yeah, I think it's their seventh. Yeah. Um, Describe the, the type of hockey you were expecting and have come to expect with the team. Yeah, James Gobex, I think. Um, verbalized it pretty well when he said, I mean, you know you're in for hard-nosed, tough games. We always have been. And I think that's really what the what the, what the games are coming down to be. I think every one of them is, you're not going to get a boring game from these two teams. There's no way. Um, it's going to be right off the hop. You're, you're not going to have to wait for the players to get into it. They're in, into it from the drop of the puck, and I expect much more of the same tomorrow night. Your team's on a, a pretty good little run here. What do you see as a, a as something that's been sort of a, a difference these last six, seven games that you didn't have earlier in the season? Yeah, actually, there was already a question earlier, which was right on the mark. Um, we were missing some of our identity early, and I don't necessarily know the reason for it, but we were, uh, you know, it's something that as a program we really haven't had to deal with expectations before. And then we won the Big Ten last year and um, had a pretty good showing in the NCAA tournament and I think expectations changed and possibly um, our own memory of what made us successful changed and but I think now um, as the question alluded to earlier I think we're getting back to our identity and I think that's absolutely the biggest difference for what's been happening lately. With Govitz's goal now I think that's the 21st guy on the roster that scored for you guys. How imperative is that for your success uh, moving forward in how this play? Yeah, it's by design. We've never been a very successful program when we've had a lot of eggs in one basket or in one or two baskets. It's just not the way we are built to play. For us to be successful, we need that. Uh, we need production from, from four lines and we need production from the back end. And um, That's something we, always, we hope for and we work for. It's nice to see it starting to happen. Any other questions?